Hi, it's Miss Ladybug here. Um, so I'm really struggling. And, you know, um, except for doses that I've had in the hospital and a couple um, doses that they gave me to have for when I left, I haven't had any benzodiazepines and I haven't had any opiates for months and months. I mean, it's four months for benzos and six over six for opiates. And I don't think I'm getting better. I'm starting to wonder if I'm ever going to get better because they put me on a whole slew of medications to make me sleep. <laughs> Um, a heavy dose of Seroquel and Remeron and Clonidine. And I'm not sleeping. Just like I didn't sleep on the sleeping meds. And I just think that they destroyed my whole system and it's never going to get better. I'm trying so hard. Um, I just don't know how to do this at all because I'm afraid of the pills and nothing's helping anymore. And my heart hurts so bad. <sighs> because because of all that I've been through, the people that I loved, They've all believed people that lied about me. And so I don't have anybody that I'm close to that I can share my heart with. Or that will hold me and love me. And Walt, if you're watching this, you just think about this. You just think about all the pain that you let happen to me. While I'm going through the worst thing in my life. And if you would have just shown me a little bit of caring through this. It would have made all the difference in the world. All the difference. And <laughs> same with you, Sarah. If you wouldn't have kept poking in all my wounds. You know, to move my trailer on the day I'm coming home from the psych unit and to have it broken into and destroyed, that's just cruel. It's just cruel. You took my home. <laughs> All of you still have a home of your own <laughs> and your belongings and your treasures. And you all have people. <laughs> I have nothing. And I don't have much hope. So I encourage anybody who 
is being given any psych meds, SSRIs, benzodiazepines, um, antidepressants, mood stabilizers, sleeping pills, don't take them. Don't take them. Oh, God. They made me worse, not better. I've never been this sick in my whole life. And it's just so lonely. Um, you know, I don't sleep. I have intrusive thoughts. I look in the mirror and I tell myself I'm not worth anything anymore. I can't do anything. I feel things that aren't there. I feel like cats crawling across the bottom of my bed all the time. And I don't have a cat, but it just feels like there's something crawling over my legs. Um, sometimes I feel like it's like uh, such a sense of unrealty. It's like, how the hell? What is, oh, this isn't my life. How'd I get here? I don't really have an appetite, except I crave horrible things that is not my usual at all, like potato chips and chocolate, and I just gorge. Um, I don't have any strength or endurance. I haven't felt joy in so long. Oh my gosh. I haven't felt joy. And without joy, this is so hard. Um, my head hurts most all the time. Um, all my muscles clench and I have weird spasms under my skin. Um, it'll be interesting when I get my glasses to see how much of my weird eye stuff is from not having my glasses or if it's just part of this. Because my eyes do weird things. I see things weird. Floaters and... And I clench my teeth and I clench my fists. <sighs> You just can't imagine how awful this is unless you've lived with it. I mean, I've never, I've been through some really heinous depressions um, in my life, especially when I was struggling with my gambling. Um, and someone, you know, the other day said, you must be so strong because I've quit gambling and I quit smoking cigarettes and I detox off these pills all by myself over I mean I was dedicated but there was just so many things that happened and the pardon my French but the clusterfuck of it all there's so many things other people could have done to help me when things started turning but instead, they all poked at me. That's what it feels like. It feels like I had all these gaping wounds. And all the people that I looked to, that I loved, just poked. <laughs> Moving my trailer. Selling all my stuff when I was suicidal. <laughs> Being so harsh to me. When I'm really sick. <laughs> I 
I'm just really, really scared. And my heart hurts so bad because the person that I cared for so much is so close and so far. And I'm And it just kills me that this shit is what made me lose something I wanted so bad. And that I worked so hard for. To make a home. And that home stability. People say, pray. Oh, God. Where is God in all of this? I'm sure he's there. But... Or they say, I'm supposed to learn something from this. Oh, I've learned I'm not going to ever trust the medical field ever again. <laughs> I literally, from I'll have to die before I go to the hospital again. Uh, this is just hell this is this is really hell and um i still have so far to go because i've got all that medication i gotta get off of i don't belong on all that medication it's not doing anything for me it's supposed to be for sleep and i'm not sleeping so, there's no sense in taking it, but I know it's going to just make my brain fry to come off of those. Anyway, a broken heart is the last thing anyone ever wants to have when they're going through this because it just exacerbates everything to a degree that it's just almost intolerable. And if I can just catch my breath and get a good breath once in a while and I feel so goddamn alone and unloved. This is the most lonely, scary, hard thing, and I didn't bring this on myself. Doctors did this to me. It's not fair. I don't deserve this. Nobody does. Nobody deserves this. I'm sorry if you're going through this too. I'm so sorry. Try to hang in there. Like I am. <laughs>